Do you even know the function of this health care assistant? Have you seen one that which one is health care assistant visa again? So what is health care assistant? In my first video that I uploaded on this channel, I talked a little about it and the analysis I gave is health care assistant is like a house help job. So replace house help with health. Just replace the house with health. So that's what health help. So assuming you're a boss and then you employ somebody to do your house shows and everything for you, that is exactly what a healthcare assistant does in a hospital. The only difference is the working environment, which is the house help works in the house, while the healthcare assistant works in the hospital. That is just the difference. But the function that you guys do, it is the same. So what are the basic functions of this healthcare assistant? Number one thing you should know is healthcare assistant, they are under nurses. Whether BSc nurse, whether diploma nurse, whether this thing, you are working under a nurse. Do you understand it? So what are the things that you actually have to do? Because in the hospital, you, you, are not, you cannot wash plates, you cannot bleed, you cannot do all those housey things. So what is your work? So as a healthcare assistant, you perform roles of assisting a patient. For example, a patient came to the hospital to do surgery, even appendix surgery, CS, and everything. Like, you know, maybe after the first few days of surgery, some people, some patients might not like respond so well to treatment. They will not be able to stand up, do things on their own. So your own function is to help the patient to feed, to clean. If the patient wants to go to the washroom, you assist the patients, follow him or her to the washroom. You know, most of the time when you do surgery, depending on the parts, let's just say stomach or the patient will bend like this, he can't stand straight. You will give them support to go to the bedroom, to use the toilet, to use the editing, depending on the ward or the department that they post you to. So if you are posted to um normal adult care um, hospital department maybe somebody that is sick somebody that is just recovering or somebody that has um cannula yeah cannula in, you know sometimes when you're in the hospital they put cannula in your hand maybe you have to take drip for the next tv or five days they will tell you not to remove it so that they can use the same space sometimes your hand becomes we call it, is it vein embolism or something your hands become very swollen and you can basically not do anything so things like that you actually just assist the patient to do a basic thing let me pass my this one let me do this one like all those non-clinical non-medical help that is actually what you do in the hospital so the only medical help or medical function medical role you actually did as a healthcare assistant is taking vital signs so you can take basic vital signs like temperature blood pressure on um, pulse um weight height is that important no but wait you can actually take patients with really, like a patient that is just recovering and maybe they just want to check if the person is improving or deproving or something like that, you can help them to check with you know those small small things that this thing but anyways i said depending on the department that you are and depending on the type of enthusiastic person that you are sometimes if you feel like you are really interested in this healthcare thing you can really be involving the nurse to make you do some of those medical things but no man, no man, you're not supposed to do medical stuff, but me, I'm sure telling you, sure, just in case you find yourself like you're interested in this thing. So all those things that nurses are doing, you can just be putting highs more so because when you are putting highs, putting highs, it will be boosting your CV as well. So that's basically what you do with um in the hospital. So you can actually even help the um patient to actually tidy their bed, tidy their environment, you help them to eat and um, assist them in showering. Maybe the patient is feeling oh today I feel like eating chicken. They'll give you money to go and buy the chicken. Today I feel like eating fried dress. Even in that same second, if they say don't do it fried dress, it's you that will go and buy it and still come and feed the patient. So that's why I said it's almost similar to house help work. Just replace it with health work, health help. I just like to make a major difference. Difference is the working environment. So now, after being known that, I'm sure that now you know the basic things 
but not limited to because you do some funny things because in the hospital if the patient is all this type that are not mobile and things like maybe like adult patient that maybe they have urine incontinency or they cannot stand up to pull and they pull on the bed who's gonna do it i think you of course it's part of your work description but they will not tell you but just to prepare to do things like that you got me anyways so what are the skills that are actually needed as a healthcare assistant person so it's major skills that you should know and knowing these major skills will actually help you when you're actually developing your um cv so first one is like you have to be patient you have to be calm you have to know uh ability to multitask so that you can do so many things at the time because you might be attending to one or two patients so that you're not differentiated then you know that okay this is the one i'm changing diapers for this is one that requested for beans this is one that requested for yeah the ability to multitask number one thing is patience that patient you have to write it in capital letter in your cv i'm not saying you should do it but you know what i mean like it's, it's like one one thing you have to be patient because some patients some patients see that right some patients some patients some patients can really be you know because of their reaction some people are not feeling comfortable they can really make you feel like oh, what like that kind of thing like trying to frustrate you sort of but then as a health care assistant you just have to basara i just look at the go and just focus on the money not like i'm not saying focus on the money really but then you still have to show um empathy sympathy and everything but i'm just saying that some patients can really be extra trying to like make you feel so no matter what you don't talk back at a patient whatever they do you have to hold it you have to so even if if any if the patient makes any mistake who do you think they will blame you even if it is obvious it is you even if anything it is you that they will blame so patient is one thing you have to go to the market and go and buy like you have to order it maybe from aliexpress or from amazon order it and have enough patience so if you know that you cannot have patience that small thing get to eat for example you might actually be feeding a patient now the patient should just vomit on you hey are you, are you gonna shout you cannot shout you cannot shout you don't have to suspend it no so things like that you have to be accommodating that's another skills that you require accommodating then you have to learn how to communicate like excellent communication like to make a patient feel better not like maybe some patient might be um going through um for example like all these depressed patients all this mentally um the real patient or something like that Sometimes they actually need somebody that will actually say certain words to them to make them feel better, or somebody that will play with them. Some people might actually have some severe illness, some life threatening illness. So you have to learn how to like show your face like you you actually care about them. You actually show remorse. Not just like eh, you just left your country, you just jackpa, and it's just the money you you're after. Just that small smile on your face can actually like make them live if we hear more to their this thing some patients they might even say okay they can't live past one year or anything as i do say illness come um wellness comes from within so when you're actually administering a care for a patient and everything and then you're putting on this smiling face and then you're making them feel better just with them that kind of thing say we well, i'm just with you now you're watching this video and you've even forgotten that you want to apply for something like it can really go a whole long way and from there the patient can really get addicted to you so guys i hope with this free point of mine i've been able to bust your bubble again and you should actually watch enjoy this video make sure you click subscribe button see my next video thanks for watching bye Okay, what do you